If we can catch him, I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell, ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! yeah! It's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something, and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fun. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? Take you, Strawberry! You're very... world. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? bottle. Wait, it is baby oil, but the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Uh oh! <laughs> Better catch it! <laughs> Hmm. 
Mr. Longface, you've just about won. <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Ooh. Oh, here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> oh, oh, but but this is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um, yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one, too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. in fashion design. Oh, how do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is. It was him. Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it. Your miniature golf course. Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Shortcake, uh, those are the last ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, Baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh. Yes, please. Okay, Baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like... Yes! <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! 
<laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! Whatever will I do? Listen up, Blueberry! I can't play anymore. Because it isn't my ball. My ball is blue. Strawberry, is this yours? Oh, no! It couldn't be mine. Mine already went through. <laughs> my turn! My turn! I'm sorry, Baby Berrykin. But we can't play if we don't know which ball belongs to which player. Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play Mini Golf! Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. taking the berry sparkles out of the golf balls. Could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, and you see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! She's pretty, but she doesn't think she's pretty. Oh, no? No. You see, everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh, okay. Pretty! Thank you, Baby Bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, Lemon! Thank you, Strawberry! You're welcome. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and 
tasty. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Berrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Strawberry. This on me. I love it. <laughs> Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, it's so yeah. good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody. Strawberry. Hi, Hi Strawberry. Hi, oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all going to look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a... Croquet? Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. A new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, here, let me. Uh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. Okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. It looks great. It's never looking better. I love it. it sure does. Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I'm in us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Oh. Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Let's take that one. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface. Uh, oh. Okay, down, please. Uh, uh, uh. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed. Due, I am ashamed to say, 
to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah! yeah. yeah. So it's nice. Nice. Really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, oh, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. <gasps> oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. That's your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love oh, picnic. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Solanomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The Solanomatic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the Solanomatic. In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. Exactly the way you do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! 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 Incredible. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing. They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow. Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salonomatic. Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, Blueberry. What are you doing right now? Um, standing. 
Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming friends. Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things. As well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. My new automatic clean matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean matic Hey, does anybody need a, uh, you know, trim, a manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Thanks, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Woo! Yes! <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, bye, I guess. New hairstyle? Manicure? <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to see how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> Can I borrow the cleanomatic next? Of course. Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious. What do you think? Yum. Mmm. Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemons are natural. I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. Ooh. You were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> Yay! Step right aboard. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. All ashore. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. Goodbye. Delightful. Sure. Thanks, Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. That was wonderful. We'll be back. Wow, a 
another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Ah, sweet. Uh, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello. Hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Ah! Oh, no! Lemon! You can't huh? leave! Why not? Look what the salon o did to us! Oh no! Quick! Back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! <gasps> now it won't even do anything! What a bust! Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time! Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, what would we have done without you? Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Uh, um, how did what get where? We just wanted you to stay. But it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. 
Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst, it never hugs. Yes! Yeah, that's, that's great! great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your ferry. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, oh no! Sorry, Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's Croquet Club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. Oh, Whoops. oh you daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies, from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! <laughs> Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. <laughs> to 375. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? Something's wrong with the oven! 
What was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big. Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh, no! Not again! Let's go! Uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh. This time, all I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to... Muffin surprise! Uh, <laughs> oh, <I know>. Muffin explosion? Ha! <laughs> uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme! Ha uh ha! -huh. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny! <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step, double checked the oven's temperature, triple checked the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know. But the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course! It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is! <laughs> Oops, sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Well, let's see. <laughs> Yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But, are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me... I mean about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. 
It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water or too little water or too much sun or something. Uh, oh my, <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> That should be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, berrykins. Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big. They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined, for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away, with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No, the plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out, when you're bitty, that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! Practice that here at Zippy Grove Daisies, we don't sell corn, no serene, but we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grove Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> oh, no! Great zone. Yes. We all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says
says it's popcorn. I say, let's pop it! Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, wait! <laughs> oh, I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 I'm afraid a popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too dangerous. Huh? Oh, my! We are pretty bitty, and this corn pop's very big! Yeah, oh, it's not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, We could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry. How can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty, and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! enough away, I believe. kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear, ear of corn ladder! from the vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. 
plant. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. Places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. So why you think happy thoughts? 